Hey, what's going on? This is Mike with Brand the Boss, and in today's video, I want to go over how you could be starting your blog in 2022. So, if you've already been sitting on the sidelines and wondering if you should crack out your keyboard and get the typing, then why not start in the new year? So, before we jump into the nitty gritty and get behind my computer, I want to mention a few benefits. Uh, to blogging so one it's a challenge and challenges are a good thing it takes discipline to write a blog but if you commit to publishing a post on a regular basis then you can commit to pretty much anything now the second benefit is the passive income potential now who doesn't like passive money now here at brand the boss if you take a look at our blog you'll see some of our articles and some of those articles actually generate income for us I just did them one time and they're consistently paying us on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, whatever, but we're getting paid from it and we're getting paid off of work we only did one time. So the potential for that is endless. Now the third benefit is you can use it to promote other things. So maybe you have a service, a product, something that you want to offer to you know your audience. You can do cross promotion on your blog as well. So you can easily insert it into a related article. You could put it on the sidebar. You could put it in your about page or, or make a separate resources page for your blog in general to offer whatever product or service that you might have in addition to your blog. So now that we've gotten that stuff out of the way, and if you are already convinced on why you should be starting your blog in 2022, then I don't know what to tell you, but let's go ahead and jump to the good stuff, all right? Now, the first step into starting your blog is you have to choose a niche. Now, if you already have a niche or a topic that you're going to center your blog around and all your content, then you can actually skip this section. But what I wanted to actually do was go over the top five niches uh, to choose from. And these are the top five that are making the most money. So if you're not exactly sure what you want to make your blog around, then you can choose from any of these five right here because these are proven money makers in the blogging world. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. So the first niche is personal finance. All right, there are a lot of people who are searching for content related to their personal finance, whether it be how to keep their money, save their money, or to make more money with the money that they already have. So you might not hear people talk about their personal finances a lot, but they're searching it a whole lot and you can you know generate content around you know credit cards loans um, taxes things like that anything that can help people when it comes to their, per their personal finances now the second one is education now the reason i would say education is booming right now is because a lot of people are ditching going to college and instead putting their funds towards um, more practical things to learn um, so if you see right here on the screen, you see something like Skillshare. If you go ahead and generate content around uh, something in education, teaching people something, you can partner up with companies like Skillshare and, um, you know, they'll pay you for people signing up with them or things like that, you know, but education is a big money maker in the blogging world. There are so many different opportunities to actually make money with teaching people how to do things. And as you can see right here on this screenshot, there's a whole host of things that people are looking to learn about. And you can generate your content around that and you can partner with different companies like Skillshare who teach these things. So it's another way for you to make money if you aren't already offering your own product or your own service. Now the third niche is food. Now people always gotta eat it's something that we need to survive but as you can see right here food is a big money maker in the blogging world whether it comes to recipes ebooks um, diets whatever people are always looking for new ways to spice up their dishes and if you happen to be someone who is in that industry maybe you can talk about your your own recipes or offer up uh, different diet plans things like that uh, people are always looking for new ways to, you know, spice things up in the kitchen. All right. And you can partner up with a lot of different companies as well 
and making make a good income with uh, generating content around food. Now the fourth thing, and this is my personal favorite, this is what I do at BrandonBoss.com, is business and marketing. Now what you have right here on the screen is a screenshot of one of my commission breakdowns from a, a business product that I, you know, that I earn money from. And so this is just an example of the type of money you can make. And this is just off of one uh, product. I'm an affiliate partner with a with a company, and you know these are the commissions that they would pay me for any sales that are generated through my blog. Now, the last but not least is the travel niche. Now I know the times that we're in right now it seems kind of weird, but traveling will make a return. I, I I know it doesn't seem like it after what we've gone through lately, but people are always going to want to travel, and people are still traveling now. So if you can produce content around different uh, destinations, whether it be local or abroad, there's always someone looking for new travel hacks and things to do when it comes to the travel industry in itself. And you can partner up with a lot of different um, companies who offer, um, if it's not travel or uh, destinations, maybe like hotels or whatever. Um, there's a lot of money that you can make with generating content around the travel industry. If you don't have any idea what you want to, you know, generate your, you know, the content that you want to build around your blog, then I will choose something out of these different five right here. But if you already have something in mind, then it doesn't matter. Let's keep on going. All right. All right. So step two in the process is now that we have your niche, you need to go ahead and get yourself web hosting. All right. This is what is actually going to host your WordPress blog. So we're actually going to do uh, kill two birds with one stone on this one. All right. We're going to get your web hosting and your domain name. This is your dot com, just in case you don't already have one. All right. So we're going to come over here to Hostinger. All right. This is who I use personally. I love them. I've transferred all of my websites um, from my previous hosting provider to this one. Uh, so they're fantastic. All right. You'll be in good hands with these guys. But what I really love about them is for one, you're starting at two dollars and fifty nine cents a month for hosting. OK, so once you go down here, you can choose your uh, plan. Uh, I will tell you to just go with the most popular one. This is going to make the most sense, especially if you're starting out. OK, you can definitely check out all this good stuff. But what I love the most about them is you get free SSL and you get a free domain name. So you don't have to go to a third party service to get your domain name and then, you know, connect it to your hosting platform. You can do it all under one umbrella. And like I said, two dollars, 59 cents a month. Now, if you want to go with the first plan, you can do a dollar 39 a month, which is fine. But your options are very limited and you don't get a free domain name. And this one right here, which is for businesses, which is three nine nine a month. This is pretty good, too. But if you're just starting out, go the most popular, the premium share hosting right here. OK, and don't worry about this. Uh, web hosting or wordpress hosting this is essentially the same thing all right it's a little more expensive under this one but you can do wordpress under your web hosting okay so you would choose this and you go ahead and get your your hosting uh set up so what i want to actually want to do is is quickly go into the back office of this and show you kind of how to maneuver real quick in the process just to show you how easy this actually is all right, so here we are in the back office of the hosting account. This one is for uh, Brandon Boss, which is the which is my blog. All right, so as you can see, it has everything that you need to do with your WordPress. It'll take you to your dashboard. It'll show your plugins. Uh, basically, anything that you need right here. You can also set up your email through this as well. They do give you a free uh, email account as well. So if you want to use it through them, then the option is definitely there. You can uh, set up uh, subdomains. You can park, set up your park domains. You can add a website. Everything, everything, everything. Okay, this this is very clean. It's a very clean interface. Very easy to navigate. That's what I like about this as well. And so when you go into your WordPress dashboard, we'll go ahead and click dashboard, and you have all your other options right here as well. Okay, you get your SSL certificate right here. It's 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 what you know does the HTTPS. Google likes that so it gives you this thing for free and if you want to install another WordPress site boom just click install 
and you can get it done. I mean, this is a very clean, easy to navigate back office right here. That's why I really like these guys right here. They're, and their customer support is is uh, very good. <laughs> all right, <laughs> they respond pretty quick. All right, so um, yeah, so you can't really go wrong with Hostinger. And there will actually be a link in the description, so you can just go directly to over here to go ahead and check this out for yourself. But I just kind of wanted to be transparent and show you what it looks like in the back office right here. Now, if you don't already have a domain name or for whatever reason you don't want to get your domain name through your hosting provider then another option is um, Namecheap over here at Namecheap you can easily just go ahead and purchase your domain name now let's say for example um, you're not ready to actually go ahead and build out your blog but you might want to secure your website's name so you can go ahead and come over here to Namecheap and just go ahead and purchase your domain name right now and as you can see it listed right here dot com only five dollars and ninety eight cents um there's always coupon codes as well um that you can search on for name cheap but and you can so you can get your dot com even lower sometimes under a dollar but this is a good place to go at go ahead and do it i know a lot of people recommend godaddy but godaddy's more expensive so i don't use them um name cheap is straightforward i like them so if you want to go ahead and get a uh, get your dot com you just type it in here in this section and hit search and see if it's available if it is then you just buy it all right so you can use this option if you just want to go ahead and secure your domain name right now and then build your blog later but if you're ready to do it all at one time just go ahead and buy your hosting and and go ahead and get your domain name um with hosting okay so let's move on to the next step so now that you have your wordpress set up now you have to select the theme for your blog and this is going to be how it appears to everyone else so here in your wordpress dashboard what we're going to do is, is actually go to the appearance section and then we'll click add new themes and here you'll see that you have a plethora of themes that you can choose from uh, as the design of your blog and the great thing about this is all of these selections right here are free so you basically want to find something that's going to be more in line with whatever your niche is or your overall brand. And so you can actually just select any one of these. Now, the thing, the, the thing about these themes, even though they're free, their customizations are going to be much more limited. So um, you'll have to play around with them because they're all different. Um, so if you want something that's really um, highly customizable, then the best the best selection out of this is probably going to be the uh, Elementor theme or the Astra theme. Now, Elementor does have a drag and drop feature or plugin that will allow you to, you know, have more control over your design. But it's still a, a, a free choice, so you'll only be limited to, a, you know, to a certain amount of things. But if you don't really care about the whole design aspect, then you can just choose any one of these themes right here. And if you want to preview them, you can just select one and do a quick uh, and click on preview just to see what it will look like on um, your, your blog. So this is just a preview of what this theme right here looks like. And pretty much this is how this setup will be minus, you know, the customizations like, you know, putting in your page names, your logo or whatever the name of your blog is actually going to be. Um, but if you want something that's a little bit um, more customizable, something that's uh, you can have more control over, uh, what I use on Brand the Boss is is a Thrive themes, all right, and they have rebranded this to Thrive Suite, and with just one um, yearly membership, you get all of these. Um, what I like about it is there that this is a theme builder, uh, so I can completely customize my website, my blog to however it is that I want to look, want it to look. And it comes with a whole bunch of other tools as well. Um, there'll be links in the description. You can check this out on your own, but it, it comes with a lot of different things that you will possibly want to use as time goes uh, for your blog. And so I've been using these guys for years. I like them. Um, there's definitely other options. You don't have to go with this, but this is what I like because it gives me the most bang for my buck. Uh, but when you're just starting out though, you can just choose a free theme just to keep, just to get you going. All right. The whole point is you just want to get started, get going, and then along the way, you can figure things out and you can switch your theme around as many times as you want 
if you want to go to a premium theme you can do that um it just it's it's all at your own pace so um that's it for this section right here so let's move on to the next one all right so in this section we're going to talk about getting an email marketing service all right so you need to have a way to collect your customers or your audience's email address when they visit your blog so here we are my blog right here this is just a quick example of what i mean okay here's a quick visual so in this one right here what i'm offering to my audience is a is a way to showing them how to build their profitable blogging business and so this leads to my seven day boot camp and for them to get this they have to give me their name and their email address all right so the reason i collect their their name and their email is because i want to have a way to uh market back to my audience again at a later date or stay in contact with them so just in case i have something that i want to offer to them i can just send them an email or if i completed another uh blog post i can notify them and let them know that hey there's a new blog post on the site go ahead and check it out let's and give it a read you know there's 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 a dozen different things that you can do to reach out to your email or reach out reach back out to your audience through email but as they say the money is in the email list all right so you want to have a way to collect email so you can remarket back to your audience so the first one here is aweber i like aweber 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 is cool they have been in the business probably the longest of all the email marketing services out there um they have a free plan so you can definitely check them out and if you are doing affiliate marketing um specifically Aweber is the most flexible on that, you know, so not all email marketing platforms like affiliate marketing. So they're the most easy going when it comes to affiliate marketers. So if that's what you're going to be mainly doing, the main purpose of your blog, then I will check these guys out right here. The next one that I use personally is active campaign. I enjoy active campaign. I've been using them for quite a few years and you know it they they're they're relatively cheap but they're they're very good at what they do and so if you want a solid uh, email marketing uh, platform you can definitely use active campaign and connect it to your blog and get on with your email marketing as well and another one is convert kit this is probably the most popular um, one and most widely used they're very good as well and they also have a free plan you could check these guys out as well i mean really when it comes down to it when you're doing your email marketing you're probably going to shuffle through a few different platforms just to see which one you like the best um so if they have a free plan just sign up with them and try them all and see which ones that you like you like the most and which ones work work the best for you but this is definitely something you need to have when uh creating your blog as well okay you want to have a way to market to your audience okay you want to be able to collect their email address and remarket to them later on all right so now you have finally completed building out your blog okay so now the only thing left to do is to actually produce content so if you're ready to go ahead and start typing out some things and reaching out to your audience this is what you need to do okay you only need to focus on two pieces of content all right that's how to articles and review articles that is the bulk of what people are actually searching for online so as you can see right here on my blog this is these are examples of how to articles okay how to get started in affiliate marketing how to start an email list these are the type of things that people are actually searching for so people are always looking on how to do new things so you should be basing your content around that and also reviews we all like to see what how other people review stuff so you want to go ahead and also produce review content for your audience so focus on how to articles and review articles and if you just did that alone your blog will slowly become a success okay and once you've actually now produced all your content what you want to go ahead and do is, is share it on social media okay especially since this will be your first piece of content nobody knows who you are so share it on your twitter share it on your instagram if there's a way to do it on instagram share it on your facebook wherever you have a social media platform at just go ahead and share it with your audience 
It's going to help you get that initial traffic. It's going to let Google know that they need to go ahead and, and index your, your website and it'll help with the rankings as well because when they see a flood of people actually coming to your website, that sends a signal to them that, hey, this is important. So maybe we need to go ahead and prioritize this content. So it's going to only help you when it comes to indexing your website on Google and helping it in the search rankings. All right. So these are some of the steps that I would take if I were starting my blogging journey in 2022. Now, I didn't go over everything. There's some more advanced techniques like SEO that I will be discussing in a different video, but everything I went over should be just enough for you to get started on the right direction. So I want to thank you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content just like this. I will be uploading more videos in the coming days and weeks. All right. So take care and I'll see you in the next video.